Hello everybody, hope you are doing well. Well, today we are going to be implementing the profile screen, which is this screen. So that said, let's start coding. And first thing, we will go to our profile folder and we will create a new group. We will call it view. From there, we will create a new file. It will be a Swift UI view and we will call it profile view. Okay, perfect. Uh, then we will go to our inbox view and uh, I want when I click on this one, uh, the ellipses uh, to go to the screen for now. So you see this ellipses it will be a navigation link. So navigation link with a destination and the label for the destination. It will be profile view. And for the label, of course, image system name ellipses. So now when I click on it, uh, I'm uh, in the profile view and I will want to hide the back button. So uh, back uh, button, navigation bar, back button hidden. Okay, perfect. Uh, Now inside my profile view, I want to have a V stack and from there I want my toolbar and of course people who watch my tutorial series know I hate that when it's this way, I prefer it this way because it's a lot cleaner. From there we will add a toolbar item with placement of dot top bar leading. Okay, perfect. As you can see, it's an A stack, so it will be an A stack. We will have image system name arrow dot backward, and after that, we go to text of profile, and we will give it a font of dot title free a foreground style of dot white and the font weight of dot semi bold so now from my inbox view if i go it's perfect but you see when I click on it, I don't go back. I need it to be a button and I need to be able to dismiss it. So we will add, add environment slash dot dismiss private var dismiss. And uh, I will have a button with action and label for the action. It will be dismiss. And for the label, it will be my image. So let's cut it and paste it here. So if I go now, you see if I click on it, I can go back, which is perfect. But uh, you probably know this if you watched the previous video. Uh, this tab bar doesn't uh, disappear if i go from here you see i don't want this tab bar to stay so we need to hide it and to do so i will create uh, a new group i will call it a view model and from there we will create a new file it will be a swift file and we will call it profile view model Perfect. I will import uh, Swift UI class uh, profile view model of type observable object, and here we will have add published var tab bar visibility of type visibility, and it will be by default equal to hidden. 
and in my profile view here I will add dot toolbar for this one visibility it will be view model oh, or I forgot I apologize I need to have my view model for so add state object private var view model equals profile view model and here we will have view model dot tab bar visibility for dot tab bar and when I click on dismiss I want view model dot tab bar visibility to be equal to dot visible Okay, hopefully everything will be working. Okay, apparently. Okay, I made a mistake. It's, it will be observable object. So now hopefully everything will be working perfectly. Okay, so let's wait for it. It's a little bit slow, unfortunately. Okay, if I go to my main tab bar view and if I click on it, okay, you see I don't have the tab bar. If I go back, I got the tab bar back, which is perfect. That's what I want. Now I need to go back to my view, profile view and start working on it. And first thing you probably see, I got a Z stack. so. This stack where we got this image, and above it we got this circle with this image. So let's make a Z stack. I will also need to give it an alignment of dot bottom trailing because you see this circle, it's in the bottom trailing of the image. Okay, perfect for the image um, as you know we already have a component called circular profile image view we will give it a width and height of 120 which is equivalent to dot dot x large so circle profile image view it will be dot x x large and with user dot mock user and we will also after uh, the Z stack, I want uh, to make a spacer and I will have dot padding of dot vertical on my Z stack. Okay, perfect. Second thing, I need uh, this circle, so I will have a circle with dot frame with width and height of. 40 I will give it a foreground style of color dot dark gray okay beautiful another thing I need to put an overlay and uh, put this image so overlay and here I want uh, image of system name camera dot fill it will be totally sizable with a frame with width and height of 40 or I meant of 16 I apologize okay perfect and the foreground style of dot white Okay, beautiful, I think, uh, for now. Now the next step is to implement uh, this VStack. And first thing you see, this one is a reusable component, but let's start by implementing it, then we will go there. So we will make a VStack and we will give it a spacing of 32. Okay, and then let's start a A stack. So, A stack. 
I will give it a spacing of 24. Okay, and first thing is image with system name person dot fill. Okay, which is perfect. Okay, I made uh, apologize. I made a little mistake. Uh, it should be outside the C stack, not inside the C stack. So it was a little mistake. I apologize. Perfect. Okay, it will be dot resizable dot. I will give it the same like this one frame of width 16 and height 16 and also foreground style of dot. of dot gray I think okay perfect then we got a uh, stack as you can see I won't do this one first I will start with these two because they exist in all the three uh, views so let's implement them so we will have a v stack And we will have a text that says name with a font of dot headline and the foreground style of dot gray. And after that, we got a second one, so another text, and it will be user dot mock user dot full name user dot mock user dot full name and with a font of dot footnote and they will add an alignment to the vista of dot leading okay which is perfect after that, VStack, as you can see, there will be a spacer, then this image, so a spacer, then image with system name of pencil from our SF symbol. Okay, which is perfect. And to the entire VStack, I will give dot padding of dot leading and dot padding of dot trailing with a value of 16 okay perfect uh, for the image I will give it the same I will make it resizable with a frame and foreground style of gray uh, we will also I forgot to make it scale to fill and this one too will be dot scale to fill okay which is perfect uh, so now we will start by making this uh, view reusable component so to my a stack i will go and do extract sub view and then refactor rename Okay, and I will call it option view, which is perfect. And then we will have private var image name of type string. We will also have private var title of type string and private var subtitle type string and when I say image name I mean this one when I say title I mean this one when I say subtitle I mean this one and I will add a boolean which say is editable or not so and the private var is editable of type boolean and it will be equals to force by default then I will add my initializer 
Okay, so in my initializer, this is my first initializer. I will add also another initializer. And this one will be without is editable. And the reason behind this choice for me is, uh, for example, when I'm using or creating this option view, when it's not is editable, I don't want to go and write is editable is false. I want uh, just to ignore it. So for me, that's a lot better. And here it will be if is editable equals true. In that case, uh, you show me this. If not, you don't show me this or you don't display it. Okay, perfect. The uh, first one will be person.fill with a title of name and subtitle will be user dot mock user dot full name. Okay, I will, uh, for first, I think I didn't, uh, I forgot this, it will be this one, it will be now image name, this one will be title, this one will be subtitle, okay, perfect, uh, now I need another option view. And I forgot here to be honest, uh, I need also is editable to be true. And here it will be uh, the image name exclamation mark dot circle with the title about or the subtitle it will be. Okay, hey there, I am using WhatsApp, so hey there, I am using WhatsApp, and for is editable, it will be true, and for the last one, I will use the first one, so without is editable, so his name will be phone dot fill the title will be phone and for the subtitle it will be uh, user dot uh, mock user dot phone number so if i refresh hopefully we got something pretty similar to the one we got in the finish up so okay beautiful the thing now missing is this one, we need a second subtitle, so let's go and implement it, so. Okay, so here we will have a private var uh, second uh, subtitle of type string. And I will give it a default value of empty string. In my initializer, I will add second subtitle of type string, and here it will be self dot second subtitle equal. Okay, an empty array which is beautiful and perfect. Uh, now we need uh, a condition if uh, second subtitle is not an empty array. In that case, we will add the text that is second subtitle. Let me check out this. Okay, I will give it a font of dot caption. A foreground style of dot gray and the padding dot top of one ok 
Okay, and here I will add a second subtitle. It will be for this one. It will be an empty string, and for the first one, let me check. This is not your okay. So this is not your user name or pin. This name will be visible on, on WhatsApp contacts. Okay, so perfect. Uh, I'm not sure why we don't see it. Okay, so let me check what is wrong. Uh, okay, I think it should, uh, we should be able to see it. So let me build. Okay, something is wrong, but uh, okay, perfect. Uh, Be honest, uh, really strange. Okay, okay, I'm giving it. Uh, okay, <laughs> I apologize, I made a mistake. So now it, should, it was given it uh, an empty string uh, in the initializer. I should be given it a second subtitle. So now it's beautiful, but there are still things to handle. Like as you can see, the icon is more on top here, here it's in the center, it's ugly this way, I don't want it this way, so we need to handle it, so. Okay, so when I go to my A stack, in the alignment, I need it to be, if a second subtitle is not an empty string in that case i want to dot top else i want to dot center okay which is beautiful that way okay and alignment is before spacing so okay beautiful but now it's too much so to handle it uh, i will give it dot padding of the top to the image and I will again check for second subtitle if it's not an empty string in that case it will be 12 else it will be 0 okay now it's beautiful and it's very similar to the one we got uh, in the complete app so nearly perfect if i go now to my main tab bar view and from there go here it's beautiful it's perfect it's exactly the result we want so i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please like subscribe and as always stay safe stay healthy and see you in the next video bye bye